Hello, I'm C.R. Howdy, Shell President at Advisex. Uh, excited to be participating in Green Lake Day. I'm joined by a valued long-term 15-year customer, Srini Vanga. He's Vice President of Information Technology at WR Grace and Company. Srini, thanks for joining me today, especially in light of the $570 million acquisition completed yesterday. Congratulations on that. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself your organization, and a bit about the relationship you've had with Advisex. Sure. Uh, th thank you, CR. Uh, let me start with Grace. Uh, Grace is a $2 billion global specialty chemical manufacturing company. It's got two main business segments, uh, catalyst technologies and uh, materials technologies. Our FCC catalyst technologies uh, help our petrochemical refining customers in producing uh, mainly transportation fuel and uh, petrochemical uh, feedstocks. Uh, and our materials technology business uh, delivers uh, silica-based materials to our customers uh, to improve their uh, products and processes in uh, segments like uh, coatings, uh, consumer, industrial, and uh, pharma businesses. Um, as uh, CR, as you just mentioned, uh, we recently closed a, an acquisition and acquired the fine uh, chemicals business of uh, Albemarle, uh, which will increase our business share of uh, pharma business. Uh, coming back to me, um, uh, regarding myself, I've been with the Grace for 22 years. It's been a long time, guys. So I've, I've been mainly in the SAP technology area and uh, took over the role of the uh, vice president and head of IT four years back. Um, and I've been working with AdviseX for almost 15 years now, and it's been an excellent uh, strategic uh, partnership, CR. Well, thank you. And we definitely appreciate the business and uh, the relationship. So uh, we'll, we'll move on to the next question. So what are, what are the most important factors for you to be successful in the business? Obviously, growth is going to be key with what you just, just accomplished with the acquisition. But uh, what are the most important factors for you to be successful? Um, since, uh, since Grace is a specialty chemical manufacturing company, uh, it's very important for us to understand and uh, sometimes even anticipate uh, uh, exact customer requirements and then uh, quickly create that uh, special material which helps improve our customers' uh, products and processes. That's the most important thing for us. Um, the company depends on me and my team uh, to provide value to our business and uh, helping them make decisions uh, quicker and in real time and uh, adaptable uh, to the ever-changing market and the uh, business needs this year. So that's the most important factor for me. Great, and IT is obviously playing a, a bigger role as, as you move yes. forward. Good. So what are, what are some of the, the most, I don't like to use the word pain points, but I'll call them business challenges, you know, in your industry? Um, so building on my previous point, right? So chemical manufacturing is not new. Uh, and it has evolved over the years. And, and with numerous mergers and acquisitions along the way, uh, the systems and processes are not always uh, harmonized or standardized. So keeping it moving together and in the same direction has, uh, has always been a challenge, right? And, and added to that, COVID has affected most of the sector and, uh, and our, ind our industry is no exception especially in the refining uh, sector. Uh, we need to be able to provide uh, rapid customization to our customers, uh, which means our business, uh, which needs uh, flexible computing power uh, to process and analyze huge amounts of these material properties data and, and allow them to come up with products uh, that we can go to market faster uh, than our competitors here. Right, got it. And, and obviously that's key. Yes. As far as, and you, you, you touched on this briefly, but I'd really like to hear more about how your business has changed in the last year. You mentioned COVID, so love to yeah. hear how things have changed and, and what you can share. So specifically about COVID, right? So about 50% uh, of our employees have been working remotely since March of last year. Um, unless, unlike other industries, uh, we cannot go 100% remote. Uh, because we have chemical plants to run and chemical labs to operate. So we'll always be at this 50%. So technology has enabled us to do that. 
we have done a lot of things remotely, which we never thought possible. Um, um, we did virtual factory visits for our pharma customers, a remote plant startup for our polypropylene uh, uh, customers, um, and also did virtual um, annual customer uh, conferences. Uh, in the end, some of this will go back to pre-COVID days, but most of this is going to stay and stay here for good. Well, congratulations on that, because I think the whole working remote, uh, I think we're all seeing the challenges, but obviously it looks like you've seized the challenge and it's going to be more business as usual going forward. Yep. Well, congratulations. That's key, obviously, to the business. Also going forward you know, with, a, with a hybrid model, I mean, it, you know, for many customers, the hybrid cloud's a journey. Will you share with us a WR Grace and Company journey for, for the hybrid cloud? Sure, CR. Yeah. Um, when I took over this role uh, four years back, uh, I, I made a decision that I no longer want to be in this uh, data center business. Uh, we need to focus on our core strength and core competencies as a chemical company. And uh, I wanted IT to be spending more time helping our, our, our business uh, manufacture and sell our products uh, safely and efficiently. So working with our strategic partner, uh, AdviseX and HPE, we moved ahead with, uh, with GreenLake, which uh, solves mainly my problem of this uh, getting out of the data center business. Uh, we now have a private on-prem cloud solution that is uh, elastic, fully scalable, and is uh, based on the consumption-based model, right? So that's very similar to what these hyperscale cloud providers have, and I love it. This, the consumption-based model is what, what is great about the GreenLake that I have signed up. Um, with, with GreenLake, I can uh, scale up quickly, and I, will, I can grow as my business needs grow. And uh, it, makes, it makes this a perfect cloud solution for Grace. That's great to hear especially since we were a big part of it. And I'd have to agree, you know, with, with the words getting out of the data center business, we're hearing it more and more as we, as we hear and meet with more customers. So, and with that, in a hybrid model, there are a lot of decisions to be made on what goes into public cloud, what should, what should remain on-prem. And obviously this is a decision you had to make. This can be crucial when it comes down to business critical applications. How, how did you and your team approach this when you were looking at at your SAP environment? Great question, CR. But for me, the answer is simple. Uh, as I told you previously, like I did not want to be in the business of data center. I also did not want to be in the business of developing custom applications. Uh, we retired most of our custom built applications in uh, procurement, sales, HR, and replaced them with the SaaS providers like Ariba, Conquer, Salesforce and success factors, which are all hosted in the cloud. Uh, these companies uh, spend billions of dollars in R&D and come up with solutions that are state of the art in, this, uh, in, in these processes that I talked to you about, right? So, so unless I have a special need, which I don't in the finance procurement and HR, I don't need these custom built applications, which is the reason I went to these SaaS based applications, all of which are hosted in the cloud. That leaves me with uh, my mission critical application, which is SAP and its peripherals, right? For business reasons, I wanted this on-prem. Um, so I chose uh, the HP GreenLake uh, to host this on-prem in my own data center at, at our headquarters in Columbia, Maryland, but with a DR capability in the cloud um, so that I don't have to have a colo facility, which I have right now from my DR. So I use both on-prem and cloud, uh, hybrid cloud for myself, uh, for, for Grace. So I have very few custom built applications on-prem. Um, and as these become more standardized, I'll certainly look at uh, taking them to the cloud or even keeping them on-prem. Um, so we wanted that inherent flexibility, uh, CR. That's the reason we went to this model. That's great, because that leads in right into the next question I had for you. Many customers, in this past year, they're all looking for the flexibility, right? And how important it is. Can you share with us the value you see from HPE GreenLake and, uh, and how that provided flexibility for WR Grace and Company specifically to workloads that can easily scale up or down? 
the main thing that helped me make the decision for green lake uh, is that green lake is sized with this 20% buffer that we can scale to in minutes um, that would usually take uh, weeks or even months to deploy uh, we now have that power and uh, flexibility in mere minutes uh, when uh, when our business comes to us with a new requirement either for a new applications or new data analytics capability that needs computing power i don't have to wait for two or three months to give them that uh, capability so I, it can be done right away with this 20% of flexibility that's great and, and agreed so this is a newer question with with the event of your um, acquisition how do you see that added flexibility when you're looking to integrate a new company this, this is exact you you hit it on the head uh, cr that's true if i were to if i had to bring this on with this additional computing power i would have had to place an order wait for the codes come back in and do all that with this 20% i can easily fit in a new acquisition well, that's great. And that, that, that really helps for the short and long run. And I'm sure that helps the business. Yes. So absolutely. The last, last two questions really is, can you talk about what really stood out for Advisix with Advisix or about Advisix, you know, basically why Advisix and what, what you saw the benefit of working with us? Advisix, uh, CR, you, you, you have a great team, CR. So, so yeah. I've been, I've been, I mean, I've been working with, I told you, right, for 15 years. And um, I've been working with the same account manager for most of these years and the team as well, right? So, so the, the account manager and the team knows how I operate and what I expect uh, of the team, right? So I can call them 24 seven, anytime, day or night. And they, they always pick up my phone and assist me in that time of the need. That's the most important thing. That's the reason that I, I've been working with AdvisX. And AdvisX has always proposed good solutions to me, either with HP or with other vendors. I can always trust them. Um, we have developed a strong uh, strategic relationship. And uh, more importantly, like I told you, like there is this trust that is difficult to find and um, it has continued to endure. Um, and um, I deal with a lot of IT vendors and uh, I can confidently say that AdvisX is at the top of the list from the customer service perspective here. Well, thank you. And listen, that means a lot. I know we've had some bumps. You know, I've been on the phone for some some of the tougher, <laughs> tougher times, but you know, you get through those to the, to the good times like now and uh, really, really excited about what we're doing with GreenLake. So, and, and, and most importantly, appreciate that relationship. And I'm sure Arlen Acuna is gonna love the fact that uh, you mentioned the relationship. So thank you for that. You know, finally, you know, any, any parting words of wisdom for other customers as they consider HPE GreenLake? Um, like I stated earlier, uh, you must ask yourself, uh, do you really want to be in this uh, data center business? Uh, ask yourself uh, what your core business is and what your core competencies are and, and focus your business acumen to deliver those that value to your business. Um, I'm sure you'll come to the same uh, conclusion as we did uh, and take a good look at GreenLake for its uh, flexibility. Um, you'll be very pleased and, and happy with the value the solution provides to your business. Um, I would have to agree. And what we're seeing with you know, the, the best of breed solutions you can bring forward with GreenLake, uh, we're excited about it too and look forward to doing more work with you and, and customers like WR Grace and Company. So I want to say thank you for the time. As importantly, thank you for the business. Really do appreciate it and appreciate the, uh, the kind words. Thanks and uh, have a great day. Thank you, Sierra.